Okay. And here's our private oasis, and it's super rainy, so this vacation is already off to a BANGING START! No banging at this private oasis, though. Okay, so that's really depressing that it's raining, especially since it's supposed to be a happy vacation house. Ugh, bad omen. Uh, Tingle Bottle somehow washed up on these shores. <laughs> Genius programming. Okay. <laughs> eh, that's an okay one, I guess. Okay, so. Uh, this private oasis, uh... Oh. Eight seagulls. That is a, uh... A orange rupee, Octo. We don't care. Mrs. Marie's Cabana. Visitors not welcome. Well, we actually got the the deed from her, so Butler Door <laughs> What if I show you this? The Cabana Deed <laughs> Uh whatever you say. So, I guess since this is our butler, I guess this makes us the bat cave, so, yeah. Okay, so, puzzles! Nah, I'm just joking. They're completely optional. I was really worried when I first played this, because I'm like, there's like, how many, how many lanterns is that on the wall? That's 18 lanterns? Can I count? No, I can't count. Wait. Uh, eight, no, it's 16 lanterns. Um... Yeah, there's 16 tiers of these kinds of puzzles. These, like, s not in the least. Uh, yeah, it's a sliding puzzle. You've seen them before. Thankfully, that actually isn't what the quest is. The quest is as simple as aiming up and swinging. There we go. Okay. Okay, so. This is one of the, uh, the... Triforce items that I would say is worth a damn. It's like it's like a little mini dungeon that you need to like get a deed for and then you go here and it's cool. It's a cool idea. It's better than Random Island with Enemy Gauntlet. It's at least creative. You gotta give it that. Okay, so let's uh let's find a way through this place. Ooh, we haven't had to crawl in a really long time. Wow, in a really long time actually. Uh, this way? I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just taking a wild guess! Oh, I'm somewhere. Ah, uh, just a storeroom. Oh, with a ton of rupees! Cool. Okay. Ooh. Uh, did I seriously just crawl back to the start? I think I did. Yeah, it's gotta be in one of these things. Let's go to the right this time. Ah, wait, no. Let's go, oh, great. Now I'm not even facing the direction. Ah, uh, oh, this isn't good. Oh. Ooh, this looks this looks like progress. Ooh, switches. Hammer. Thor's hammer. Okay, and I believe that's a shortcut back to the start. Yes, it is. Okay, so I guess this is progress. It is. Yeah, just a little mini maze. Ah. Uh... I'm gonna go right. Right has never let me down. Hmm. I hope this is the right way. Oh. It appears to be something. Yeah, there's rats crawling all over the place too, and they're really annoying me because the just the battle music keeps chiming in and it 
It's a bit irritating, <laughs> I'll admit. Okay, hammer that down. Okay, and I'm going to assume that's uh, yet another shortcut. Okay, good. So, let's go down here. Oh, Jesus! There's dead people in my private oasis! This is a bachelor pad, not a graveyard! Okay. How oh, sweet, magic. And a ton of rupees. Jeez. Well, we've already paid Tingle, so there's pretty much nothing else we need our money for, so hooray. And I believe that should be it once we crawl to the end of this hallway. Er, crawl space. This entire thing is a crawl space, come to think of it. I wonder, is there any houses that actually have rooms hidden under their fireplaces? Because that'd be a good place to hide them. You know what I've always wanted? A house with a hidden room behind a bookshelf. That's my lifelong dream. Okay. Play that Requiem. And open her up. For another Triforce Shard! We only need four more. So, we already have three of those charts, so we only need one more shard. And, uh, the Triforce is as good as ours! And now we just gotta backtrack through the shortcuts that we opened. There we go. Okay, and now we're gonna get... <laughs> that is badass! Look at Link. Such swagger. Okay. Now we're going to do, um, we're going to finish up the side quests that get us Peace Heart, which there are three left, and all three of them are a bit of a doozy, so let's go. Okay. Goodbye, Jeeves. I'll never see you again. By the way, I'm Captain America, not Spider-Man. I mean, Batman. Fuck! Okay, so... Now... Uh, hmm, should I dig up? No, I shouldn't dig up. I should get... Uh, I feel like I should get... Um, I should do the side quest first. So, sorry about that. Now we have to go to Bomb Island. So, I... Oh. <laughs> it's one space to the right. Are you kidding me? Okay, then. Bomb Island is this away. Okay. Here we are at Bomb Island, and now it's time to start this quest. Sup. Yep. Thirty years. Oh, that's depressing. Oh, sure. I've got a town flower that has your name on it. A sea flower. Uh, sure. Twenty rupees. Sure. A sea flower! Sweet. The Merchant's Oath. Oh, cool. Okay. So this is where the chest, uh, the, the quest starts. So, uh, every time you give them one of these, uh, one of these items, they'll give you an item in return. Uh, there are three Merchant Gorons. There's one on Bomb Island, there's one on Great Fish Island, and there's one on Mother and Child Islands. Uh, and we need to go back and forth between them, and every time we get an item, that item will be then sold at Zunari's shop. And we gotta do this a lot, because uh, there's something that we need at the end of this quest. So, this is one of the most tedious quests I've ever seen in my entire life, so I'm gonna use the power of editing magic to speed this up. <gasps> Cue the music, please. Okay. Edit time. Go! Okay. 
First, we sail to Greyfish Isle, trade the Sea Flower for the Exotic Flower. Then, we sail to Mother Child Isles, trade the S Exotic Flower for the Pinwheel. Then, we warp to Bomb Island again, trade the Pinwheel for the Sickle Moon. Then, we warp to Greyfish Isle, sail to Mother Child Islands, trade the Sickle Moon for the Big Catch Flag. <gasps> then, we warp back to Bomb Island, trade the Big Catch Flag for a Fountain Idol. Then, we warp back to Greyfish, trade the Fountain Idol for a Skull Tower. Then, we sail back to Greyfish, trade that for a Big Sail Flag. Then, we warp back to Bomb Island, trade the Big Sail Flag for a Hero's Flag. Then, we warp back to Greyfish, trade the Hero's Flag for a Postman Idol. Then, we sail back to Mother Child Isles, trade the Postman Idol for the Shop Guru Idol. <gasps> and finally, we claim our reward at Greyfish Isle, which is... A single piece of heart. Fuck this game's quests. Fuck up! Okay, so... That just happened. And now we'll sail back to Windfall, so now we can wrap up this side quest, get another reward, we have two more rewards actually, and then we'll move on to one last side quest. Then we'll get the Triforce piece. Then we'll do... <laughs> so much! So much! <sighs> Sorry for all the, um, editing if you don't like it, it's just... This is just a really, really tedious and dumb part of the game, so I just figured I would ease in the, the pain a little bit for you guys. And what the hell has happened to Zunari Stand? Is that a Starbucks logo? <laughs> uh, okay, um, so Zunari's made it big time now. Hey! Yeah. Holy crap. Is there any fa family treasure? The magic armor! Sweet. Cool. Okay. So, that's the magic armor. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> I don't care about it. I just... You get it just for... Just as a byproduct of beating this quest, so... Yeah. Oh well. Um, okay. So now comes the uh, next part of this quest, which is... Um, you might notice that there's all these pedestals around town. There's a ton of them. Yeah, well, there's actually a reward for decorating every single one of those pedestals, and you need to use the items that you bought from the merchant to uh, do it. Uh, one thing, though, you don't have to use specific items. You can use any items you want. So if you want to spend 200 rupees each on 15 shop guru statues, you can. Or you can just buy 15 town flowers. You could also just do that. So, yeah. I'm just gonna buy uh, more of these town flowers. Okay, and unfortunately, the game is a douchebag, and I believe you can only three of my products in your bag. So just to make it even more tedious. Okay, so then we go to our delivery bag. We put three town flowers there, and place one there. Place one there. And place one there. Okay. So, I'm going to do that uh, for every single one of them. So, let's place one there. Let's place one here. Let's place one here. And here. And here. Also there. Don't forget there. Also there. One up here. One right there. One in the corner here. And a couple in this guy's house. There. 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 One more here. One on the stage here. One on the stage there. And a couple upstairs right there. There. And there. And one more right here. Okay. That was fun. And now if we talk to this guy over here. Yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, spent 20 minutes decorating. Hey. You. Yeah, I do. It's been tons of joy. Yeah. Thank you. Another piece of heart. Okay. 
So, uh, believe it or not, that does it for Windfall. We're done. No more Windfall music tunes. Well, I guess we gotta hop on our boat and go get some juice from the forest haven. Hey! Come on. That's right, there is one more quest. It's at the forest haven. I'm not even non sync. God damn it, Turner. Okay, let's pull out. Pull out Wind Waker. There it is. <laughs> Now I get the song! Okay. So I'm going to meet you at the Forest Haven inside, and we're gonna do one more quest. Okay. And now we're in the Forest Haven, and all we gotta do is do this. Forest water. You can use it multiple times, so you have infinite forest water, but it loses its freshness after 30 minutes. And now I have a timer on my touchscreen. We have exactly thir- oh, that's interesting. The timer hasn't started yet. I think it starts after I leave. Yeah, the second I went out- the second I left the pool, uh, the forest water is now ticking down from 30 minutes. This used to be 20 minutes, and this quest is actually quite hard at 20 minutes with no swift sail. But at 30 minutes with a swift sail, you can do this quest very, very easily. Uh, and it's nice, because you can actually pick whatever order you want to go get these uh, these Koroks. Which, by the way, that's what we're doing. We're feeding the withered trees. Uh, so, let's see. I'm going to look at my map. And, like, look at this. Like, I do not even care about um, losing time here. So, uh... Doo -doo -doo. I'm gonna go to... I'm gonna go one square to the right first, to Cliff Plateau Isles. Because I have an order... an order here that uh, I think is the most time-effective way of feeding these Koroks, so... Okay, so there's a Korok up on there, and we have to do that little mini dungeon, so uh, I'll just see you at the, uh, I'll see you on the other side. Okay, and all you gotta do is go up to a tree, and dump out your water. There you go. It's still not recovered all its vigor. That's a shame. And yeah, our bottle still has water in it. We have infinite water, but it only lasts 27 minutes. So yeah, as you can see, once again, another tedious as all hell quest. So, cue the music. Edit time, go! Okay, first, warp to South Fair Island. Sail to the west to Shark Island. Pour water on tree. Warp to Greatfish Isle. Pour water on tree. Sail southwest from Greatfish to Needle Rock. Pour water on tree. Warp to Tower of the Gods. Sail south to Tower of the Gods. Pour water on Private Oasis Tree. Warp back to the Tower of the Gods. Sail north to East Fair Island. Pour water on tree. Warp back to Greatfish Isle. Sail two blocks north to Mother Child Isles. Pour water on tree. And finally, sail one block north of Mother Child Isles to Star Island. Pour water on tree. <laughs> Link's so happy. A piece of heart! And that's it. We are done with pieces of heart in this game. Uh, at least with uh, the quest ones and the open ones. Every other piece of heart in the game is at the bottom of the ocean, so we're gonna have to dig it all up now. And that's actually what we're going to do next. So, uh, let's see here. Okay, so first we're going to warp. Okay, and let's warp to Dragon Roost. I. Yeah, Dragon Roost Island. We'll warp there. And we will sail uh, northwest to uh, Crescent Moon Island. 
Okay, here's Crescent Moon Island, and yeah, now that we've opened a, a treasure chart, it pops up like a big golden column. And we stick our grappling hook into the ground. Haul something up. Peace heart. Okay, and just a heads up before uh, before we start the uh, fancy super super edit time, uh, we're going to be going after charts 2, 4, 5, 11, 15, 20, 23, 30, 31, 33, which we've already accidentally dug up, 38, 46, and Triforce charts 1, 2, and 3. That's what we're going for. Cue the music! Final edit time! Go! Okay, so we sail one block to the south to proper an isle. Dig up treasure, bam, piece of heart. Now we warp to Greatfish Isle, sail up to it, haul up treasure, bam, Triforce piece. Sail north of Greatfish to Rock Spire Island, dig up treasure, bam, piece of heart. Warp back to Greatfish, sail one block to the west to Three Eye Reef, dig up treasure, bam, piece of heart. Warp to Outset, sail northwest to Diamond Step Island, dig up treasure, bam, piece of heart. Warp to Southern Fair Island, dig up chest, bam, piece of heart. Sail northwest from South Ferry Island to Stormwatcher Island. Dig up chest, bam, Triforce Shard. Warp back to Southern Ferry Island, sail to the south to Two Eye Reef, dig up chest, bam, piece of heart. Sail to the east to Angular Isles, dig up chest, bam, piece of heart. Warp to Forest Haven, dig up chest, bam, piece of heart. Sail north of Forest Haven to Bomb Island, dig up chest, bam, piece of heart. Sail northeast from Bomb Island to Thorn Ferry Island, dig up chest, and bam, final piece of heart. One final step, warp back to Forest Haven, sail to the east to Cliff Plateau Isles, and finally, dig up one last chest. Get hyped because this is the last chest in the entire game. It's a Triforce Shard! Only one more shard to go. And look at that! We have full hearts, just like I promised. So yeah, um, yeah, I, uh, I actually drew myself my very own great sea map and just charted down where each of the pieces of heart and Triforce chests were, and uh, yeah, I'll listen to the description like the list of charts that lead to pieces of heart, but as for like, like how to go and get them, like just. Draw your own map, it's an adventure! <laughs> okay, so, there is only one thing left to do, and that Triforce Shard that we need is on, of course, Outset Island. Let's go get it.